If you're wondering about driving in South Korea, well, I have good news for you. It's actually really simple, and the rules of the road are almost identical to that of driving in the United States or Canada. It should be really easy for you if you're used to driving on the right side of the road. But there are some things that you should keep in mind. So here's 10 things you need to know about driving in South Korea. Number one, Koreans are notorious for parking anywhere. Yes, as you can see, sometimes Koreans will park on the right side of the road, in the road, effectively blocking an entire lane. Sometimes you'll see cars parked on the sidewalks or just in places that make you go, why would anyone park there? Number two, many, many roads in South Korea are very narrow. And if you're driving a large vehicle, you might be wondering if you could even fit down the road. And combine that with number one, parking anywhere. Sometimes you are just left wondering, am I gonna fit down this road? And now there's a car coming at me from the opposite direction. What are you gonna do? Number three, Koreans will oftentimes put their phone number on the inside of their car displayed on their dash. Why is that? Why would you want everyone to know your phone number? Well, it's because of the parking situation once again. If you're parked in an area that ends up blocking somebody in, the person who you're blocking in could go to your car and look for your phone number and call you and ask you to move your car before they call the tow truck. Number four, magical hazard lights. If you've driven in South Korea, you might see people turning on their hazard lights. This is a free pass to do anything. If you see someone turn on their hazard lights, just know that anything could happen within the next few moments. Sometimes they could quickly pull over and park in a place that doesn't make sense. Or sometimes they turn on their hazard lights to warn you that they're gonna cut you off. Or sometimes they could be nicer about it. If you let someone in in front of you, sometimes someone will push their hazard buttons and blink at you in a friendly way to say thank you. Number five, police lights. In South Korea, the police will drive with their lights on at all times. This is because the police want people to see them, especially if there's an emergency or if you need help and you need to find the police right away, you could quickly spot the police from a distance. When I drive in South Korea and occasionally there will be a police car or a police motorcycle behind me with their lights on, I kind of freak out because my entire life I was told to pull over to the side because that means the police are trying to pull you over. But that's not the case in Korea. But how do you know if the police are trying to actually pull you over if they have their lights on all the time? They turn on their sirens. So if the police are behind you with their lights on, you're not in trouble, just keep driving like normal. But if you hear them turn on their sirens or sometimes a loudspeaker, then you should pull over. Number six, cameras and tickets. South Korea is full of cameras. Some of these will monitor your speed along the highways and certain roads. And if you're speeding, you will get a ticket in the mail within a few weeks. Some cameras also check to see if your car is parked in an area where it shouldn't be, which is ironic considering so many people park where they shouldn't. But if you're in an area with a camera, then be sure to park legally or else the camera will read your license plate and you will get a ticket in the mail. Number seven, running red lights. Now I know I just said there's cameras all over the place, but in areas where there aren't cameras and there's not a lot of traffic either, it's pretty common to see people running red lights. If you come up to a red light and there's no cameras and there's no one else in the intersection, a lot of people just go through it. And when I first started driving here, I would stop at all the red lights because, you know, that's what I'm used to. I follow the rules of the road, right? 
And I would see so many Koreans just kind of get angry and then drive around me and go through the red light. Number eight, speed bumps. I don't know what it is about South Korea, but they really love speed bumps. They're everywhere. So if you get a car here, be sure you have good shocks. And if you're the type of person who likes to lower their car, don't lower it too much or else you can get in trouble because some of those speed bumps are unusually steep and high. Number nine, you are always sharing the road. South Korea is a country where there's lots of people that walk, ride bicycles, use motor scooters and other means of transportation that are not cars. So when you're driving, always, always be careful. There will be people that will walk across the middle of the street. There will be uh, delivery drivers on mopeds and uh, motorcycles and things like that that like to weave in and out of traffic, up on the sidewalk, and then back on the road again. Bicycles in South Korea will ride on the street with the traffic if there's no dedicated bicycle lane or safe sidewalk for them to ride on. So just keep in mind that you're going to be stopping for people and doing a lot of defensive driving while you're here. And number 10, bus lanes. If you're in a congested part of the city, usually Seoul, or on certain highways, there will be dedicated bus lanes. And you could tell because they're marked with signs. Sometimes the, the entire lane is painted a certain color, or the lines that divide up the lanes of the road will be painted a certain solid color. Those are bus lanes, and only buses can drive in them. And if you get caught driving in a bus lane by a camera, once again, you can get a ticket in the mail, and the amount of money that you have to pay is determined by how far you traveled in that bus lane. Driving isn't that different, but there's definitely some cultural differences here and just a couple of other things you just have to watch out for and get used to when you drive here. Thanks for watching the video and if you want more content about life in South Korea, be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit my notifications. I'll be posting a lot more videos about all different kinds of cool things in South Korea, including events, cultural things you should know, food, awesome places to check out. Bye!